Parts and Holes, Part 1. I'm so glad you're here. Let's get started. Do more than just watch. There's a printable viewing guide for you to use to answer questions in the movie as you go along, or use your own notebook. By writing down what you're thinking, you'll be able to go back, review what you're learning, Translating math language into regular language activates different parts of your brain and really helps learning the math. Look at this picture of my bicycling buddy, Carla. What parts of Carla can't you see? Why do you say those parts of her are there even though you can't see them? You can name the parts you can't see because you know what the whole thing looks like. The parts are still there even if you can't see them. What parts of gravity are not shown in this picture? Are they really missing or just out of sight? You know gravity has a head and front feet, even though you can't see them in the picture. Trust me, he does. The big idea here, the parts of something and the whole thing exist at the same time. And we can think about either the whole or the parts. I'm not a wimp, I just don't like storms. Let's see how this works with numbers. This case of soda has 24 cans in it. Some are blue, purple, green, yellow, orange. If we talk about the four purple cans, is the whole case still there? Of course, the parts in the whole are both there at the same time. Think about some math things you might do with those numbers. The parts add up to the whole. Fuels plus casing plus clay plug plus flash power add up to a firecracker. It's two ways of describing exactly the same thing. The equal sign separates them. On one side, we've got the fuse plus the casing plus the clay plug plus the flash powder. On the other side of the equal sign, the one word that's the whole thing all put together, the firecracker. Got it? Ready to try some on your own? Finish up the response sheet. Go to the next movie, Parts and Holes Exercises.